Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Creative Talk Podcast with me, Jan Santos. And today, we have a very special, very special, and another very special guest. I can't contain myself, guys, because, you know, I, I just want to spit this out. Before I started my agency, my podcast, I was looking for a mentor. You know, not, not really face-to-face, but, you know, scrolling the net. And this guy, this guy, which I don't know, I don't know who he is. I end up watching his video. And then I really, and this is a true story, bro. This is a true story. I was like watching videos, following, making notes and everything. You know, to cut the story short, this guy and, and what he does, his, his company, you know, it, it really is a part of the foundation of the Creative Talk podcast and me, Jan Santos, why you will find out later. And, and again, I am a fan. I, I am a fan. <laughs> together with his brother, guys, together with his brother, they created a multi-six-figure video marketing company. Wow, there you go. He, he's, he's humble. He's a multi-millionaire businessman. <laughs> they are here to help you grow your business online with video. So there you have it. That, that's the keyword. They're revolutionizing the entrepreneurship um, uh, industry in terms of video. The genius behind Primal Video. <laughs> I'm raising the bar there. I'm raising the bar. You've the done genius. really well. This is- <laughs> Yeah. The genius behind Primal Video. Guys, Primal <laughs> Video, hit YouTube. Hit YouTube and look, and, and you will be astonished. Primal Video. See, I, I'm promoting you, bro. <laughs> Guys, 1.21 million subscribers on YouTube. And I correct myself, he don't need any promotion from me. <laughs> Very humble. Again, I'm a fan. He's such an amazing human being. Very kind. Let's all welcome our very special guest, Justin Brown. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me on. I don't think I've ever quite had an intro like that. You've set the bar very high. I'm, I'm waiting for this, this person. Like, who, who is? So, <laughs> no, uh, I really I know, appreciate Justin. the offer to be on here. So, let, yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's, it's my honor. Thank you. Man, um, I said it off cam and I'll say it again. Thank you so much for spending the time because, you know, time difference and, you know, guys, for all the listeners and viewers, they're, they're moving, they're under a, a setup in their new office. So imagine tight schedule, time difference, but he is with us today in this show. So again, Justin, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. This is good. Yeah, we made it work. All right. So. Again, I'm a fan. I know who you are and what you do, but our listeners and viewers out there might not. And if they don't know who you are and what you do, they might be living in a cave. All right. So <laughs> let's give them, <laughs> let's help them. Let's help them. Um, my friend, who influenced you or what influenced you to be in this position of greatness that you are right now? The floor is yours. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks again for the amazing intro. Okay. So uh, my name is Justin. I work with my brother, Mike. We started our YouTube channel uh, just over seven years ago. And uh, we started it with the idea, like we wanted it to be organic traffic for our business. We wanted to be able to help people uh, with the stuff that we were passionate to talk about, which, which back then started as video editing only. We started our channel as video editing coach and then uh, quickly realized the making editing videos, they takes a really long time. So in order to be able to show up consistently, uh, we'd have to kind of look at alternate content um, as well. But also the video editing is just one piece of uh, you know the, 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 the process you need to go through to make amazing videos and get views on them and make money and leads and traffic and everything for your business. So we were able to branch out into teaching this stuff almost. I mean, my, my background is in production, but the, the growing on YouTube, is is a different kind of thing it's 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 not something i had any experience or anything with and uh, it's kind of been a big journey since then of trying testing failing learning trying to figure everything out and i know that our first two years we really didn't have much growth and we see so many people that are stuck back there making the same mistakes or doing the things that we did that we you thought we needed to do but really ended up in, in very little results or anything for, for the business and for the YouTube channel. So now what we teach is how you don't make all the same mistakes and stuff that we did uh, so that you can get 
the outcome that you want much faster, building an organic traffic engine through YouTube to grow your business and brand while having as much impact with your audience as you can. So in a nutshell, that's the journey that we've been on. And uh, wow. yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Wow. And again, guys, um, what, what Justin said there is really true because they, they, the, the content that they create really is you know, helping a lot of people, maybe their hobby or their content creation, or they're really a business. It's, it's in a way very simple and yet complex. That's, that's the yeah. magic of what they do in, in Primal Video. They, they deliver that complexity, that technicality in a simplest form that is easy to understand and easy to follow from, from thumbnails you know, and, and, and how you utilize um, uh, mobile phones, which is mind-blowing because, you know, back then, you can only do massive editing and, and utilizing YouTube on, on a computer, right? And, and, and then yeah. you have a video that, hey, you can do it on your mobile phones. Like, whoa, what? How? So, so things like that, guys. Again, if you want to know more about what I'm trying to say and what we're talking about, go to YouTube, check primal video or check their website <laughs> i'm not so, i'm not getting paid to promote this <laughs> that's how authentic they are and 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 guys my family my podcast family here you know me when i'm authentic and i know someone when they're authentic and and just in here and what they do they're just there to help you and me achieve success all right so Kudos for that. Congratulations, Justin. I know that you will be connecting and helping a lot of people as you move forward in the next level of, you know, your content creation. Thank you. And this, I mean, it's the same approach that you're taking. You come from the place of how do I show up? How do I serve? How do I help people with the stuff that I'm interested in? And hey, you can end up building an amazing business from that where you don't need to worry about burnout or motivation. Because if you're pumped or you're excited about what you're doing, then and you're coming from that place of how do I how do I add value? How do I show up and help? Then the motivation piece really takes care of itself. And you're going to keep pushing forward. It's the people that are that are really trying to to force it. And, and they're, they're the ones that need to be motivated all the time. Like if, if you're not motivated, I'd say that you'd probably look at what, what it is you're actually doing and something, it could be a small change, but something might need to change so that you're having fun. Wow. If you're having fun and you enjoy it, it it's so much, so much easier to push through. Mm, mm. Justin, I, I want to ask you this one. Um, you know, you grew um, your YouTube and your community to, you know, a, a scale that is like, beyond beyond normal right you guys are in that stage already no it's funny but it's true right there's a lot of content creators. it's still there's crazy of... for me like this is still it's still a little <laughs> oh, strange yes. for me it yeah. is it is you know yeah. 1.1.21 1. million that that's a big big number um and i know it didn't happen in an instant right you mentioned a while ago that there were failures there were ups and downs how because of course you didn't know that you will hit this big when you reach really. that failure when, when you were in that situation that hey it, it's not working what was inside your mind because people in that situation they have two options either they stop what they're doing because it's not working right or they would be like us that push forward until we hit that success all right so, so can yeah. you can you give us a, an overview of yeah. that situation Okay, so as a great example, we're six months in, we're six months in. And as a YouTube to us was how do we help, how do we show up and help build an audience so that we can get traffic through uh, to grow the business and everything and, and have everything scale from there. So six months in, we had 49 subscribers. And out of those 49 subscribers, I had created multiple channels. Uh, to make the numbers look better. So I had created a channel for my mom that subscribed to our main channel. She doesn't even know, but thanks, mom. Uh, there's there's a few other channels, that I, and they're still there today, uh, where, where it was, I was trying to make the numbers look better. And why only 49, six months in was because we were doing it without a strategy. So we kept going beyond that. We were doing what the experts out there told us to do just keep going just keep keep hustling uh work harder you know you got it it'll happen and it really doesn't happen that way just hustling and working your ass off doesn't guarantee results 
So what had to change for us um, was I, I jumped on a call with Mike, my business partner and brother. And I'm like, I was frustrated. I was, I was borderline burnt out because we're doing this. I'm going through the motions of making all this video for next to no results. And uh, we just said, look, as a business decision, this is a bad decision for us to continue. We try to figure it out or we stop because it's wasting our time. And this is time that could be spent in another way, trying to build traffic or run Facebook ads or some other way that we could grow this thing. So um, that's that was kind of the turning point for us. It's like, all right, let's give this another try, but let's really try to figure out what YouTube needs. What does it need in our videos? Or what can we do to help it understand our videos so that it can put them out in front of the right people. And that's really what the game then became was that trying, testing, failing, learning to, to work out what YouTube needed, what our viewers wanted, and what I needed to do in the videos to make it all kind of work together. And really, like looking back on it now, uh, very recently, we kind of distilled it all down. What are the three main things that... Uh, were needed or are needed for growth on YouTube. And it's really simple when you hear this. And I wish that someone had told me this years ago. Uh, I probably wouldn't have so many gray hairs that I have now. Uh, so the, the first one is that you need to create content that people want and that YouTube can understand, right? So I know that sounds very obvious, and, but there's a lot of people out there that, that are just creating videos that they think their audience wants, not what they know their audience needs. And it's a big difference. So where most people start is they're creating content around the solution. Like here's the answer over here. People need this. They need this answer. But where do people do when they go to Google and YouTube? They're trying to self-diagnose. They're going to Dr. Google to find the answer to their problem. So they're searching for the problem. But most people are over here talking about the solution. And yeah, if they can find it, those videos would help them. But YouTube doesn't understand the problem solution thing. They're just, you, it's, it's not joining the two together. So it's not until you start taking a step back and saying, cool, what are people actually searching for? What are they typing in? So this keyword research and doing some basic topic research is invaluable. It's giving you insights to what people are searching for, what you can then title and talk about in your videos, knowing that people actually want it. So we don't create random videos. We literally do keyword research and that dictates what topics we're going to talk about and what words we should use to articulate in a way where the, uh, the audience just feels like the video was created for them. So that's, that's the first one. You need to be doing some research first. The second one is once YouTube understands your content, you've titled it right, you've made this amazing video. If your video doesn't get clicked on, there's lots of other videos on YouTube, right? So you know, why, why are they going to click on yours? If, they, if your video doesn't get clicked on, even if you've nailed the title and everything, YouTube's going to think that people don't want it. So you could have the world's best video. If no one clicks on your video on that thumbnail image, no one's going to see it. So your thumbnail image, that little picture is so important. You need to grab their attention and you need to make sure your video gets clicked over all the other ones around it. The third piece then, I don't go and quick through this, but it really is this simple. The third piece then is that once someone clicks on your video, so they've found you on YouTube, they've clicked on your video, there's almost like this anxiety and they're like, did I click the right one? Should I click the other one? This one's seven minutes. The other one was five. Maybe I'll hit on the other one. So you do not want to waste their time. You don't want to do some fancy big intro or anything like that. Get to the point. Tell them they're in the right place. So you want to hook your viewers in immediately. So instead of starting a video, hey, it's Justin from Primal Video, no one cares who you are. Is this guy going to answer my pain or problem? So instead, we started shifting that. And as now, in this video, I'm going to share with you the top five video editing apps on iPhone, right? So, so if you're looking for that and you just clicked on that, I've just confirmed that you're in the right place. So what we've found is it's those three things. You need to, to, to not get everyone on your video, get the right people. So help YouTube find your content, get the click, and then keep them watching as long as you can in the video. But it starts with hooking them in first. Whoa. I know it went quick, but that's, whoa. yeah. Whoa, 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 guys. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> we we haven't even talked about the main there's topic. A, there's a formula. Yeah, yeah, that's the formula. Wow. I wish we knew that. I wish we knew that when we were starting wow. out. And that's why I'm happy to share this stuff because this is the stuff that really changed the game for us. So now then what you do 
is you go and work out what, how do I research these topics? How do I create an amazing thumbnail? And then what are the things I can do in my video to make people want to stick around or encourage them to stick around uh, until the end so that YouTube sees that people actually like your video. Now, the beauty of all of this is it grows and scales over time. Like we don't create masses amount of content. We do one video a week. We've only ever done one video a week. For a small period, we tested two. The growth wasn't twice as fast. Yeah. So we went back to one. It's like, let's just create one amazing video a week that we know people want. Let's just try our best to mm. get a thumbnail image that people click on. And then let's try different things with the video content so we can keep people engaged. Okay. That's the game. Wow. Amazing. And and what what's amazing about it is because you know, we, we know the formula now. And again, it doesn't end there. There's a lot of content that they release that would help you accomplish, you know, you, you know, really execute that, that formula. And there's a lot of people out there who will give you theory-based formula, but they never follow it up like, okay, how will I do that? But, but you know, Justin here and, and Primal Video, they, they really follow up with, content that would help you accomplish that formula so wow amazing i'm i'm sure our listeners and viewers are wow <laughs> guys clip that part and it will help you it will help you in your journey towards success love that love that having said that um justin you know i know that's a big part but let's you know let's let's put the let's raise the bar to the next level all right so that's the first step on how to amplify your business. That's the first step. But I want you to, you know, bring it on, bring it on and then let it explode. Let your wisdom flow to all our listeners and viewers out there. How to amplify your business. The floor is yours, my friend. Okay, so I guess a lot of people forget that there's real people on the other side of a business transaction. So coming from this place of adding value and doing the research before you create your content, it all comes down to what can I offer my potential clients, customers, students, what do they need from me and what can I help them with? What do I want to help them with? What am I going to enjoy? If you can kind of connect all of those things, but it's not just a one-way conversation. So as with this podcast or any platform, the engagement that you get from your audience is super valuable. On YouTube, that's the comment section. It's where your direct feedback is. With podcasts, it's reviews. It's people sharing and making clips and everything. So for those of you that are listening, if you haven't left a review yet on this podcast, definitely head over and do it. There you go. We've got to plug back the other way. But this stuff, I'm not, like, I'm not just saying this. This stuff is so important because what does it do? iTunes or Apple Music or wherever your podcast you're listening to, they see this as engagement on the, the podcast. So, oh, it must be good. It's getting engagement. It helps more people find it. YouTube and Facebook, they all work exactly the same. So if you want to amplify what you're doing, you need to focus on your viewers. You need to give them content that they want, that they will share and engage with that does help them and add value. But you also need to encourage them to make it a two-way conversation, which gives you feedback so you can add more value. Now, in terms of the selling and growing your business, it really comes down to giving your viewers, giving your audience, your customers, whatever, like a next step. So in our business, we don't ever or very rarely, like, let's just say I hate selling. And I know there's a lot of people that do. So uh, when I do it, I had to reframe it. There's a good friend of mine, Michael Maidens, that reframed all this for me. He's an, he's an offer and sales expert. And he said, look, don't think of it as a sale when people sign up for your course or program or something. Think of it as an offer to take the next step. In that case, you know that your product isn't for everyone. You don't need to be worried about it, but you're, you're then building an amazing product that for those that are ready, the action takers are ready to take that next step. You don't need everyone in your courses, programs, and everything. You want the right people. You don't want people to just sign up and ask lazy questions and don't do the work and just take all of your time. You want the people that are the self-starters, the action takers. So this is where coming from that place of adding value, you're kind of using your free content online, podcasts, YouTube, whatever it is, as a filter. So people build that know, like, and trust with you. And then what's the next step? 
is that to start to grab your 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 ebook your 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 low ticket product or something like that or to to jump on a free consulting call with you mm. like th- this works no matter what your business is right. even if it's getting people in the door or if you're an agency or anything like that this is this is attracting your clients it's showing you as the place to to go because you know your stuff you, you're helping people for free with your free stuff. So imagine what the paid stuff is like, but then you have to give them a next step. What is the next step? And it doesn't need to be a big commitment. It could be something like an exclusive podcast, a free Mm. checklist or something, something to to help them with the next step for them. That's further proof. That's further getting them down the line before they become a customer. So in our free content on YouTube, I very, very rarely mention our membership Mm. course program. I, I don't mention it because I don't want yeah. to be seen to as being selling on YouTube. People go to YouTube for free stuff. They go there mm. to learn for free. Right. They're not saying, hey, I'm here to buy a course. I'm here to learn for free. So let's give them something. Let's solve their pain or problem, exactly their pain and problem, because we know what it is, because we've done the research. Mm. And then we can say, look, if you want the next step, or now that you've got that piece solved, we can dive way deeper. I love that. You know, what's the next step without it necessarily needing to be a sale? Wow. And, and Justin, you know, um, I don't know if you heard this before, but, you know, uh, people doesn't want to be sold, but they want to buy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. when you explain your strategy and your perspective, that's so true. And a lot, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's wrong. Of course, it's a business, but there's a lot of creators on YouTube and, and other social media platform that they really, it, it's, it's like 60%. They, they're, yeah. they're showing you what they want you to get, uh, want you to sell or, or promote. And then the remaining 40 is the content, which I love what you mentioned about, you know, the pain, the, the, the pain pressures and, and the, the gap that the consumers are longing for and that that's the reason why they're looking for answers and you want to feed them that solution it, you know it, it could be like a band aid for them that yeah. could really give them something or it could be that great solution for them you know the next big step so it's it's a good reminder that you highlight that so for everyone that is in the stage of helping out guys i always believe this that if you want to be a, a successful entrepreneur, start by helping people the authentic way. It, it's not bad to promote. It's not bad to sell. That's the reason why it's a business. But do it in, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a healthy manner, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and, and take, and it, take where, it from Justin. That's where people will always are always happy. The right people, those action takers are mm. happy to pay to get a result or an outcome faster. They mm. might've already looked on YouTube. They might've already consumed your free stuff and realized that it's too much for them to go that journey alone. Or they might've tried and failed. You, you know, you know what? I trust you. I know that, that mm. you've helped me before and that you've helped lots of other people. How can I pay you to work more closely with you to get where I want to go faster? Like wow. those businesses are amazing because you're still able to help people, whether they're ever signing up to your courses, programs, your services or not. Mm. So you're still helping people. You're still able to monetize that with sponsors, affiliates, and other ways that you can monetize your content. Right. But you're, you're, you're also building up that reciprocity and, and building that awareness. So if you do have a product or service or, or you know, you're inherently going to want people, have people that want to work with you, whether you have those things yet or not. Wow. Wow. I love that. Guys, it's knowledge bomb after knowledge bomb, like from intro to the main topic. I, I learn a lot and I know our listeners and viewers learn a lot. Justin, last, last thing, the main takeaway that you want to share for all our listeners and viewers out there, you know, we've been, we are visible. Um, our podcast is being supported in 29 countries worldwide. Your community is again, worldwide also. So a, a simple takeaway connected to, you know, how to amplify your business, may it be a small or a big scale business, a takeaway from you, my friend. I think the biggest takeaway that I've had uh, would be to not overcomplicate it and not overthink it. 
I see, and I know that might sound too cliche for, mm. for people listening. It's like saying, oh, you, you've got to just start. Well, you actually do have to start. There's too many people that go through courses and stuff and they've got all this knowledge, but they haven't actually done anything, right? So it, it's exactly the same here is that you, you don't want to overthink it. Like done is better than perfect. Mm. Test, like you, you're not going to learn and see if something actually works until you actually take the action with it and see you did, if it did work. So for us, I mean, we're still failing all the time. We're it should say learning yeah. all the time. We're tweaking and adjusting because these platforms, they are always changing. And that's why we like, we like YouTube. We like that when we don't run Facebook ads, we're, I think we're at the point now we're getting 2.7 million views every yeah. 28 days, wow. which is insane. Like uh, that's still like, it blows my mind, but then we're not reliant on running Facebook ads when we stop spending and that traffic stops like that traffic is flowing through to email list right. and everything like this is this is what we love and we, we love sharing and love, love helping people with it doesn't have to be complicated but you do have to do the work so don't overthink it know that your first videos will be your worst videos <laughs> and that uh and don't worry mine are still up there for a good laugh if you want to go check them out i'm a behind the camera person not not an on-camera person so it's been a big journey for me too but you won't know until you start and, and, and you need to commit for at least six months, 12 months before you might even start seeing some real results with it. It does take that long, but know that on YouTube, if that's where you end up, that your videos can still bring in views, subscribers, leads, traffic years after you create it. We have videos that are over seven years old now, still bringing in Whoa. a ton of views, subscribers still getting affiliate links clicked. And every week from there, we've had another new video show up again with that same potential. So that's how I say to amplify your, your business and brand is to uh, don't overcomplicate it, don't overthink it, but you need to do the work. Wow. There you have it, guys. Wow. That, that's like mic drop. If I have a mic, I'm like, like this, <laughs> I'm going to drop it. <laughs> microphones are expensive. These people <laughs> yeah, are dropping microphones. Reason, yeah. coming, please, please yeah. don't. Please don't. <laughs> But there you have it, guys. You know, knowledge bomb after knowledge bomb. Simple and yet complex, straight from the heart. That could really, you know, revolutionize whatever that is you're, you're doing in your business. So thank you so much, Justin Brown. But we are not done yet, my friend. We had oh. a glimpse of who you are and what you do. The power of your content, the power of your intent, you know, to help out and really make a difference. We, we appreciate that, but we are not done but, yet. But it sounds scary. <laughs> Lucky I'm sitting down. Yeah, yeah. Right. This yeah. is a, a tradition here in our show since episode okay. one. Um, we call it the creative fast talk. I'm going to yeah. ask you questions that you are not allowed to spend much time thinking what the right answer would be. All right. The okay. first word that comes into mind, shoot. And you need to be 100% honest. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's, the, that's the reason why I was building up the word authenticity and, you know, being honest a while ago. So <laughs> okay, you, you planted the seed. All right. Yes, you set yes. the bar here. All right. I, I don't know if my screen is playing games on me, but guys, when this podcast is released, Justin just turned red. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, all right, not, all it's, right. not, it's not the crappy webcam I'm using, yeah, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm using the, the same crappy. You can see the green. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's okay. It's nighttime here too. Yeah. <laughs> but, but don't worry, Justin. My team, you know, they, they love you. And like me, they're a fan. So these are all, um, how can I say this? These are all friendly, friendly questions here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Are you ready, my friend? I am ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Question it. number one. It's a, let's start with the easy part. All right. Question number one. <laughs> sun or snow? Sun. All right. Structure or chaotic? Oh, structure. Love or money? Love. If you were an animal, Justin, what animal would you be and why? A dolphin in the ocean. <laughs> okay. They get to play in the waves and stuff. It just looks like fun. All right. Okay. Okay. Popcorn and movies or dinner and dancing? Dinner and dancing. Wow. All right. All right. Passenger or driver? Driver. Definitely driver. The mountains or the beaches? Beaches. Oh, okay. You should visit the Philippines, my friend, if you love the beaches. 
So I, I, I live at the beach. I'm, I'm wow. literally could see the beach as well, but I, I, I'm, I'm all, I'm, I'll come visit for sure. But uh, I'm, I'm hundred percent beaches. So that sounds, that's, that's, that's my kind of holiday. All right, Justin, what are you afraid of? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I know you said a quick answer. What am I afraid of? Um, I think I would say disappointing family, especially the kids. My goal is to give them the best upbringing, keep them grounded. And, uh, and yeah, so in terms of disappointment, it wouldn't, I guess, be disappointing them. It would be disappointing me with yeah. the expectations I've sent to raise them. So, um, yeah, that wasn't really a quick answer. I'm sorry. No, no, <laughs> that was no a good I, question. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I, I feel the same way. I understand where you're coming from. You know, I have a, 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 a little boy and he looks up to me like I'm the best yeah. superhero ever. So I, I know what you're trying to say. So I love that. I'll, I'll, let's take that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Next. What's your favorite color and why? Blue. I don't know why. Um, it's in our primal <laughs> video logo. I've always liked yeah, it, maybe because yeah. the ocean's blue. Um, yeah, blue. Wow. All right. Yeah. Movies or books? Movies. All if right. it's audio books, I'm all for audio books. All but, right. It, okay. Let's, actually let's reading, I fall asleep. As a book. All right. Okay. So, so An you actual pick book, book, then I'll go a movie. Oh, sorry. You, you pick movies. I would pick a movie over a book. But if it's an audio book, it's actually reading. Reading puts me to sleep. Oh, so okay. I would okay. go a movie or mm. an audio book. Yeah. All right. So I will take that as movies. Okay. The reason why yeah. you pick movie is a, there's a follow-up question. Right. Name your top three movies of all time. <sighs> okay. I like Indiana Jones movies. Mm. I like Star Wars movies mm. and the Back to the Future movies. Like, I mean, it's a classics. And yeah, I don't know. There's newer modern movies, you know, Transformers and stuff. They're okay, but <laughs> they're not on. They're not, they're not like the classics. They're not like Indiana Jones and Back mm. to the Future. So, yeah. Love that. Love, love those three choices. Love that. All right. Next, soap or toothbrush? Oh, wait, wait, these are great questions. This is there's no right answer here. Okay, tooth toothbrush. <laughs> All right, toothbrush. All right, <laughs> Justin, I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna skip the second one. They, they, they said they were they were a fan. Well, why did they? What did they put that? All right, okay. Next, <laughs> what is your dream superpower and why? I would love to be able to fly. I just mm. think that would be amazing. I've done skydiving. I've done 53 wow. jumps. Wow. Um, and it's an amazing feeling falling. So I imagine that, you know, not falling would be great too. Uh, and being able <laughs> just to go where, wherever, you, you know, nice, without needing nice. to book plane tickets and that kind of stuff. Yeah, like Superman kind of thing. I'd love that, being able to fly. Mm. What would yours be? Question My, back the other way. Yeah, like Professor X. What do you call that? Like uh, mind well, the, power uh, thing? Mind, mind is it mind control, telepathy yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. things like yeah. that. Yeah, it's nice. just an amazing thing that, you know, if, if you can understand or go inside people's mind, not to control them, but, you know, just to think what's happening. <laughs> yeah. So, again, that's that's crazy for so This him. is what you're thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking this now when I'm like, I said toothbrush. You're you're like, I wish I knew why he picked that. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. You, you know go. why? You know, when I was a kid, I saw a blind man, and then, I in my mind, my question like, what is the world to him? Because mm. he never, you know, he was blind since birth, so he never saw everything that I seen. So yeah. how, what's running in his mind? How can he depict everything? So that's where that Professor Xavier thing, if it's true, that's, that's my superpower. If that's give a it good a one. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Next, what is always inside your bag when you were a kid? I had toy cars and I carried them everywhere. <laughs> I was obsessed with cars, which is why I have to be the driver in your previous oh, yeah, question. Nice. Uh, I love go-karting. I love driving fast. I love it, racing. Is the, Car racing is the only sport I watch. So uh, there you go. Love that. Love that. All right. Next, what is the weirdest food you've tried so far? Sea urchin. 
and I didn't love it. I didn't know you can eat that. That's poisonous, right? Well, I ate it in Chile, Chile, and okay, uh, yeah. it was a delicacy. And it, well, no, unless someone was playing a prank on us, it it was not good. No. So I'm, I'm <laughs> I, yeah, it's not something I would pay for. No. <laughs> or hopefully ever eat again. Right, right. Okay. This last question could lead into something serious, depending on how you take the question. All right. The last <laughs> question is... <laughs> Well, I do have my head. Oh, thank you. Because I've just moved the mouse cursor to the to the hang up button just in case if it's that <laughs> bad, right? Just <laughs> uh. all right. Last question. If you have the power to bring back someone back from the dead, who would it be and why? Anyone? I really don't know because I'm torn with this one. Because at some point we're all going to end up there. So part of me, my, or I go to first, you wanted my first answer is I wouldn't bring anyone back as much as you, like I could say family, mm. uh, family members that have passed on. That would be my answer. If I, mm. if I was bringing someone back, uh, like grandparents and stuff that I really didn't get to meet. I, yeah. That's, that's where I would go first. Yeah. Um, but really, I think that I, I'm someone who wouldn't want to meddle with, what's happened like that it's it's kind of can't we just make the most of what we're doing here now and that's mm. already yeah so I, I don't my i don't know my approach is a bit different to that one but uh, if, that. I, if i had to give you an answer it would be um yeah grandparents and, and, and family members that i didn't really get a chance to meet wow love that love that there you have it guys the amazing justin brown <laughs> you know having fun with us in the creative fast talk thank you so much thank you so much justin for giving us first your time, giving us your learnings, guiding us, and having fun with us. So thank you so much. Guys, please connect with Justin Brown. Justin, I know you have um, you know, social media promotions, events, anything that you want to promote, the floor is yours. Thank you. I mean, I guess we got our YouTube channel. So if you need help with anything, uh, video creation, getting views, subscribers, leads and customers, and then turning it into revenue. That's what we teach in our, uh, on our YouTube channel. We're also kind of dabbling a little bit on the Instagram side of things. Uh, so uh, <laughs> that's, that's what we're playing with. That's where I, I, I like to, I enjoy Instagram stories. So uh, I'm playing around a little bit with those, but um, outside of that, what they need to do is go and leave a uh, comment on the podcast, share it out, tag me in it, tag you in it. And, uh, and let's um, let us know what, what was your takeaway from this? That's what I'd love to see. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. You just made like, you, you made my day, uh, Justin. Thank you. A fanboy having a great conversation with an icon and it turned out to be uh, a really fun experience. Thank you. Thank you so much, Justin guys. All our listeners and viewers out there, please do connect with Justin Primal Video. Search it now because I'm sure they can help you in your journey towards success. Again, Justin, thank you so much. God bless you. Guys, have a positive outlook in life. Smile. God bless you.